What would happen to us if the moon disappeared? Well, the ancient Greeks state that uh, the people of Peloponnese had ancient writings that they were around before the moon came to be close to Earth. They're called the Proselenites. Selene is the word for the moon in Greek. Now, what would happen if the moon disappeared? The moon holds Earth's 23.5 degree tilt steady, and without our moon, our natural satellite, the moon, the planet would wobble, dramatically affecting seasons and our climate. This is according to astronomy. The closest object to our planet is our moon, and it may seem like Earth's little sibling. Since its birth, the satellite has mostly just hung around, playing gravitational tug of war, but what would happen if the moon vanished? Three billion years ago, when the moon was closer to Earth, a lot of things would have changed pretty dramatically. This is what Matthew Siegler explains. He's a lunar research scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Dallas, Texas. He says, right now, the moon is far enough away that most of the things it does for us are very long term, like stabilizing our orbit over hundreds of thousands of years. Please support my Patreon channel since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. If we woke up one morning to find the moon missing, most of us probably wouldn't notice. Those who live near the oceans would find the tides reduced, but not completely absent. While the moon does most of the gravitational tugging that creates our tides, the sun also plays a role, he said. Coast dwellers would notice tides less than half as big as they are now. You wouldn't entirely ruin surfing as a sport, Siegler says, but surfing would not uh, be what it is today. Now, while a moonless sky would not affect most of our day-to-day -day lives, it would upend the lifestyle of many nocturnal animals. Animals like moths have evolved over millions of years to navigate by the light of the moon and stars. Newly hatched turtles use the moon's light to find their way to the ocean, and they're struggling enough as it is thanks to artificial streetlights that lure them in the wrong direction. The moon's earthly impacts. An errant moon would also affect Earth's motion about its axis. The pull of the moon currently increases the length of a day by about 2 milliseconds every 100 years. Though if that increase stopped tomorrow, it would be very noticeable on our human time scales. But if the moon had disappeared billions of years ago, our rotation today would be very different. Early on, the Earth had four-hour rotations. Can you imagine? It rotated every four hours, which the Moon slowly and persistently slowed to 24 hours, days we know now. Without the Moon's presence all those years, we'd still be spinning much faster and feeling even more like there were not enough hours in the day. Reason for the seasons? The Moon also holds the Earth 23.5 degree tilt fairly steady, and without that steady hand, Earth would wobble much more dramatically affecting the planet's seasons and climates. Everything we know about the seasons would completely be out of whack, says Paul Sutter. He's astrophysicist at the Flatter Institute. At a certain angle, he says, some places on the planet would hardly ever see the sun at all, and at others, the sun would be overhead for months on end. The change in Earth's tilt would happen gradually, though, so we would not notice it instantly or likely even within our lifetime, but for animals that have evolved over millions of years to live in sync with seasons, it might be hard for them to adapt, even over what would seem to us like a long time scale. Losing the moon would also mean losing a wealth of information about young Earth. Thanks to tectonic activity, there are no truly old rocks on Earth, but the geological, geologically inactive moon serves as a repository for information about what the Earth and the solar system were like billions of years ago. For instance, the number of craters on the Moon tells us tells scientists that there was a period of heavy bombardment by asteroids some 4.1 to 3.8 years ago. Chemical analysis of Moon rocks has also helped us learn 
how much of our planet's water was brought to Earth by comets and asteroids. It gives us a record for understanding what was going on way back, Siegler says. Because if we think the Moon and Earth formed in this gigantic impact together, learning about the Moon is learning about the formation of the Earth. I'll leave links below for you for this from Astronomy. Marriott Johnson Grove.